So on Bitcoin Wisdom, make sure your EMA is turned on under settings. Go to indicator parameters. Use these values, 20 period, 50 period, 100 period, and 200 period. This all has to do with what time interval we're on. We're on 30 minutes right now, so 20 period is 600 minutes. 50 period would be 1,500 minutes. So it gives you the exponential moving averages on those time scales. Basically, right now we're looking at uh, Litecoin to the Chinese Yuan on OKCoin. OK we can do a little bit of evaluation on this right now, I guess, as a, uh, I guess, just for fun, just to show you guys kind of how this trading strategy works. We'll be utilizing the DMI also, so prepare yourselves. Right now we are at 27.95 Yuan to each Litecoin, right? Or 28. Okay. So let me give you the rundown. Let's go to the 15 minute chart. The only way I can see us pulling up from this dump or when we do decide to pull up is whenever on these lower time interval charts, like five minutes right here. Once we get a pull up to where this 20 period exponential moving average moves up past this 200 period exponential moving average. And so let's go to the one minute and see what's happening. You have a lot of fluctuations of prices going up and down. You get these crosses, whereas you are a swing trader, you can play these crosses. But honestly, I wouldn't really recommend it unless you know what you're doing. Because that's a good way to lose coin count is to get margin called. Trust me. Okay, so let's go to the 30 minute. We've already seen the 20 exponential moving average, the 20 period, cross down past the 50, cross down past the 100, cross down past the 200, and let's go see what's happening on the one hour time interval. Okay, so yeah, we have the 20 period crossing the 50 period, crossing the 100 period, crossing the 200 period. Not really a good sign. Okay, then on the two hour, we have the 20 crossing the 50. I still think we're going to be able to cross that 100 and then cross that 200. And look, I'm going to keep going. Four hour time interval. We haven't even crossed yet. Notice our current prices on these pivotal points always hit and then bounce back up so look current price is represented by the candlestick right well the candlestick dropped down all the way to this 100 uh, EMA on the 4 hour chart right and then it bounced back up recovered a little bit above the 50 EMA right and then okay then we saw the continued downtrend then once you saw this say this dump it went all the way down to the 200 EMA and then rose back up right and then it's hovering again well, let's go see on the six hour look I guarantee you we're gonna go down and hit this 200 EMA we have this DMI setup down here let me show you okay so if you don't have the DMI setup go to your indicator right here under settings and go turn on that directional movement index you can leave the indicator parameters where they are it's on 1414 as default and that's perfectly fine okay so basically how do you use the DMI coupled with the EMA? It's it's a great tool to use, trust me. So, let's go to the one day right now. I can tell you that for midterm trading, we're going up. You go look at the one week, and we have this cross. We've already had the cross down. Our 20, move, our 20 period moved down past the 50, moved down past the 100, move down past the 200 and if you go look long term these are big moves guys like this is what it's all about everything that extended over the 200 EMA right here this blue line got dumped see we went up here and we were getting greedy right so went back down and retraced right back down to that 200 EMA that's how I'm able to call prices I'm able to see where these EMA values are on the long term time intervals like one week so if this white line is going to represent the uh, exponential moving average for the past 20 weeks. This will be the past uh, 50 weeks, 100 weeks, and 200 weeks are at the exact same position. So, look, you can see this another pivotal pivotal point too. You have the, uh, the dump ex extended all the way down to the 50 EMA on the one week, right? But then we had an automatic retrace back to meet up and come to equilibrium with this 200 EMA. So, if you would have played this swing, it would have been really awesome because you can see right here. We're going to use the DMI again because it's amazing in every way possible. It's just literally the best. Okay. Right here. Do you see down here on the DMI? 
This negative DI, whenever I say negative DI, I'm talking about the red line. When I say positive DI, I'm talking about the green line. When I say ADX, I'm talking about the white line. When I say ADXR, I'm talking about the orange line. Okay, well, whenever you have a cross with the negative DI and the positive DI, say the negative DI is crossing above the positive DI, right? That means that you're going to have an increase in selling. And look, you see the momentum right as soon as it crossed. Look at this big drop. If you would have had this as a signal, say on like your trading bot or something like that and picked it up, that would have been awesome. Look, let's go look at uh, the four hour and see like how exactly that unfolded too. It's, this is something you kind of see. This was a flash dump, like a whale manipulation, just straight flash dump. He decided to take his profits. Like that's how you have this like crazy, just immediate change. But then again, we, we should have kind of prepared for it because go look at the one day, go look at the three day, like you can tell that the negative di and the positive di need like they're they're wanting to come across each other like look at this momentum the negative di is pushing upwards the positive di is pushing downwards same with the one week we have this crazy extension outwards like this is not really held no one's really been selling that's pretty much what the negative di is going to tell you is like what's the selling pressure like or the positive di well, what's the uh, buying pressure like you know if the buying pressure is going up this green line, if it's going up at the same time as the ADX and ADXR are going up, that's whenever you have a like a positive like trend indication. So look, we have this long term, this whole we're on the one week time interval chart, right? We have this positive movement going up with the ADX and ADXR, and we have the positive movement with the positive DI. It's we've already, look how much we've increased in price. Like if you went on on this buy in point as a trigger, look right as soon as they crossed. This is one week time interval, so this is a big like long term movement you have to pay attention to whenever making all your decisions on your um, mid term and short term trades. You you have to be cognizant of that. So if you would have entered in at this point at let's see twelve point one nine one, you would be sitting extremely pretty right now. You would like that would be fantastic gains already. Even with that flash crash, like you're still making great gains. Like the the market is moving up, and I, I I'm gonna go through this whole next tutorial video basically and it's going to kind of describe how I view Bitcoin and the whole marketplace of cryptocurrencies because you can kind of think of Bitcoin as a composite index for cryptocurrencies and if you don't know what a composite index is go look at QQQ power shares I, I, I'm just going to show you this real quick before I uh, stop this video so I'm going to go to the one week time interval and I'm going to zoom out right you see this trend right here this crazy bubble expansion and then it delineates and goes down and then we're going to come to equilibrium and look at this QQQ power shares. Let me just pull this up real quick. I guess not real quick. I don't even know why it's going to there. Hold on. Patience is a virtue. Especially with trading, don't panic trade. Okay. Look, does this kind of remind you of something? Okay, QQQ is a composite index, right? And what do we know about, look, what what does this show you? Do you remember the Bitcoin bubble? You remember what happened? And then look at this growth pattern, this growth pattern that emerged for QQQ power shares. Okay, let's look up what is a composite index, right? Composite index, that sounds like something fancy. No, look. A composite index has a large number of factors which are averaged together to form a product representative of an overall market or sector. I'm stating right now that Bitcoin should be your indication as like a composite index for all other alts. You might see them like dip down whenever Bitcoin is going up, but don't be scared. They're going to go back up. You should be buying on these dips. Look, let's go look at Bitcoin US USD. Let's go look. Let's just use the DMI. Look at this DMI. We have a, a crazy potential right now for growth. Look, we have the positive DI crossing over the negative DI. And at the same time, I guarantee you we're going to see this movement of this ADX move up and cross over this ADXR for a perfect storm. I can literally can see Bitcoin reaching. Let's see. Our next point is going to be $305. I'm saying this on July 11th, 2015. So our next movement is going to be $305, right? Well, let's look. Okay. Like I showed you with those EMA values. Look, we touched it, and then we had to retrace down. So let's see if there's any points on this one day. 
Okay, our current price is extended past the 200 EMA on the one day, right? And our 20 um, period has crossed the 100, and our 50 period has crossed the 100. It's looking good. It's looking great for Bitcoin right now. Look at the three day. And honestly, why it's looking good for Bitcoin? And then you see this big dump on Litecoin and Purecoin and ratio to Bitcoin, like all within one night. Like we went from. I, okay, I'm not even going to get into that, but it's basically because people understood that there was profit to be made in Bitcoin US dollars. Like, this is an imminent uptrend that is happening right now. And you, look, I'm showing you right here. Look at this DMI. You have the positive DI going up. You have the ADX crossed over and is above the ADXR. This is like beautiful. This looks amazing to me. And if you think about this as a composite index for the whole crypto marketplace, expect all alts to be going up. Don't be scared because Litecoin went from eight dollars to four four dollars like overnight. That's that's not that's not a problem. I mean, if you bought at eight dollars, just bring that average cost down and buy now at four. Let's see, it's at four dollars and forty cents. That's that's awesome. You should be buying right now. I know you might not have extra funds, but always hold all Bitcoin, Litecoin, Purecoin, and U.S. dollars. Never back yourself into a corner.